What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. My name is Gohan and as you guys can see by the title of the video, today I want to talk about a specific lineup that I believe can get you your fourth ring of uh, limited. And um, before I do continue guys, I just want to say if you guys like the content or if it helped you in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also like up the video for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, thank you so much. But yeah man, so here we go. Um, one of the first things, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at what the requirements are for the weekend. So it says here that there's no glitch, out of position, or warp uh, players allowed. Also, you may use uh, up to two Dark Matter cards, and then the remaining of the players have to be Diamond or Lowered. So, <clears throat> again guys, the, the lineup that I'm going to be showing you guys is kind of the lineup that I'm going to be running. Obviously, I know there's going to be better lineups out there. You can use better Dark Matters than the ones that I have. At the moment, I'm not going to spend MT until, uh, you know, I feel there's a, the right player. Obviously, I wish I could get Invincible uh, Kareem. Right now, he's probably going to way, 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 way overpriced. Uh, I'm just going to wait a little bit, and then I'll probably get him because I do want him in my lineup. Obviously, he's going to be over, overpowered. Uh, but yeah, guys. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and take a look at what, what I got. Again, this is more of an idea. Please, uh, if you guys like a specific card or, or a specific player, please go ahead and uh, and use them if you guys feel like you are comfortable with that card. So, but yeah, man. So here is my lineup. So this is uh, I'm I'm 100 sure that I'm going to get my ring with this thing with this lineup right here. Uh, this is what I feel comfortable with and I know that this is going to be a lineup that is going if, if I go up against sweaty players I know that I can compete um, Obviously it is going to be a little bit on the short side because there is going to be players that whoever has Kareem They're going to be using him and that is going to be the biggest problem of the over the weekend Probably him and Shaq because every time I go against Shaq that guy pushes everybody out the way man But yeah, but yeah, man. So my my point guard of choice is Luca, man. I love this invincible Luca. Like he is so incredible. I'm getting a lot better with his jumper because it's a, it's a little faster than the Opals, and it took me a little bit of time to get used to. But overall, man, you know it is going to be an, an invincible card, so he's going to have 62 Hall of Famers, seven gold, and you know he's going to be stacked up like no other. But anyways, guys, anyone that has him, you know what he could do. Um, he, he, I'm gonna be running him. I'm, obviously, he's gonna be small uh, compared to probably people running Ben Simmons and all that stuff. But overall, I feel like I, I should be okay with him. Um, and then at the shooting guard position, I have uh, Diamond Michael Jordan. This card is still incredible at this point. Uh, I think he just came out last season, I believe. Um, he does come with really good stats: 94 mid, 88. Three-point shot, Ryan Vitanka's 95, ball handle 86. Uh, defensively, he's decent, really good actually. Speed is really, uh, really good. And he, he does come with 28 Hall of Fame badges and two, uh, 16 gold badges. So this card is more than usable. And his jumper's nice as well. Um, at the three, the reason why I have uh, this uh, this card, anyone that's used to man, this card is so good, bro. I love his jumper. I love, you know, like his uh, he, his speed. He he feels so fast for me. Um, he might not be, you know, the best, but overall, I feel like this, over the weekend he's going to be uh, wonderful for anyone that tries him out. Uh, he still has uh, 48 gold badges, one Hall of Fame, so. Batch wise, he he's going to be able to to you know compete. But yeah, man. Um, at the fourth, I have Maxi Cleaver. I feel like this card, he is decent. I like his jumper. Um, he might not be you know the the fastest, I guess, but he, overall, I feel like he should be fine. Um, so you gotta keep in mind that everybody is using gold. I mean diamond cards or sapphire whatever or I mean not sapphire um amethyst cards so you know i feel like this card should be okay and he does come with 34 uh gold and 19 hall of fame badges uh you can also put a shoe on him if you need to you can also put more badges badger map if you need to um and then my my center of choice is i'm gonna take bill russell he's probably the best uh either him or i'll probably take rudy for for his height or length just because he is like seven one, so I'll probably either take him or or uh, Bill. The reason why I was choosing Bill at the moment is because I feel more comfortable with, with his jumper. 
and uh, I use them a lot more than Rudy. So so I don't want to hesitate when I when I'm wide open. I'm still learning Rudy's jump shot, but I feel like Bill might be just a little better when it comes to the jumper. So, but yeah, man. Um, at the point guard position, you're gonna have to have that link coming out at the uh, out of the point guard position. Um, another option that I was going over was also this um, Emmanuel uh, Murray card. He's going to be decent as well if you if you guys know how to use him. And obviously, it depends on the on the player that you're going up against. So, but I feel like Isaac Bonga is still decent. He is listed at six eight. That's come with 38 uh, Hall of Famers, and stat wise, he's you know he's solid, man. He's still decent at this point. Um, so I'm still gonna rock uh, rock with him. And then at the shooting guard position. Grant Hill, bro. I love this card. Um, his jumper is a little iffy for me. That's why I have Michael um, at the at the shooting guard. But if 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 I need to have a, a taller lineup, I'll go this way where I have Grant Hill listed at six eight at the shooting guard position. And overall, his stat stat wise, he's he's really good. His speed is good. Uh, has twenty three Hall of Fame and thirty gold. So you know he's going to be doing his thing. His jumper is just a little iffy. Is am I okay with it? Yeah, I'm okay with it, but I feel a little bit more comfortable with Michaels. That's the reason why I had it like this. But if I have to change it, then then I will go ahead and do so. Um, and then at the shooting guard, or sorry, at the small forward position coming out the bench, I have uh, Eric Pascal. I feel like this card is going to be decent as well. Um, that's listed at six seven thirty same hall of uh, thirty seven hall of fame and twenty gold. Uh, decent ba uh, decent stats as well. So I feel like this card should be good. And then coming out of the bench at, at the fourth, I'm going to have Giannis. The reason why I'm going to have Giannis is because I feel like this card is really, really good. And it is Giannis, man. Any, any type of Giannis, they, you know that they do insane things. Uh, Three-point shot is not the greatest. Um, defensively, he's okay. I feel like he's going to be really good for the weekend because, uh, again, everybody's going to be running with diamonds and pink diamonds and all that stuff. So... The only reason why I'm not running him at um, like um, at the starting lineup is because of the three-point shot. If I need to, I know that he I could do really good with him. I might put a shoe on him um, and, and increase his, his three-point shot to to maybe like a what, what is it now? Let me take a look here. So he does have a 79 with a shoe, maybe like a 82, and with my coach he might go up to. Oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't go up. That sucks. But anyways, uh, 82 three-point shot is still not bad. Um, but if uh, I feel like I want to shoot, so I'm going to have it like this for now. If I have to change, then so I will. And then Mobamba, man. Mobamba, this the card is still decent. Um, he does have 30 gold badges. And stat-wise, he, he will definitely uh, still be able to compete. Again, especially you guys got to keep in mind that everybody's going to have diamonds, sapphires, some people might even have sapphire. Some people might have amethyst cards, um, rubies. Depends on what you feel comfortable with, man. So, and then obviously, if if uh, neither one of these two are working, I have uh, this guy, which is uh, Jared, Jared Sullinger. Um, I like him. I like his jumper. Uh, he might not have the. He might not be that fast, but I like his player model and I like his jumper. I feel comfortable with him, so I'm going to be having him just in case I need that card. Um, and then the last person, if I need it, which I doubt that I will, but J.R. Smith, man. But anyways, guys, that is the video. If you guys like, the, uh, please like up the video. If you guys have any questions, concerns, please comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.